Well guys, it's back home to the land of kangaroos and snakes and spiders. When it comes to intelligence, an Australian isn't the sharpest tool in the toolbox. And this especially applies to me. But for some reason, a lot of viewers seem to think I know a lot. Oh, that looks like it hurt the bike. So I get asked these questions over and over again. I figure it might just be easier to answer them all in the one video. Which bike should I buy? I have no idea. I have done a whole video about bike selection if you were into cross training. Just watch that. But if you really think I might be able to help you choose a bike, then please watch this video first. What do you think about the new Wang Fuchu TZ300? I get asked for my opinions on all sorts of bikes I have never ridden. Some I've never even heard of. I've already done some reviews of some bikes, but if I haven't done a video about it, look, I can't really comment on it. And all you young viewers, please stop asking me what the best 50cc bike is. I haven't ridden bikes that size since the early 1970s. What makes you think I'd be test riding modern 50cc bikes? What are some good riding areas in Colorado? Seriously, again, I get asked this sort of thing regularly. Come on guys, I'm Australian. How the hell would I know? I think these sort of questions are usually from younger viewers who are used to their parents doing everything for them. Well, I'm not your parent. Just use this thing called Google and look it up for yourself. Or I can use this let me Google that for you service instead. Can you do a training vid about wheelies? Most of the time I've already done the training vid being asked about, but someone just couldn't be bothered looking. I've listed and categorized all the training vids on the website. I've also listed and categorized them on the YouTube channel homepage, which also has a search function. And of course, there's Google again. Just type in cross training, then whatever it is you are looking for. If there's a video, it will pop up. Ditto for review vids or any other topics. Do I have other YouTube channels? Yep, I mention these occasionally and there are often links in the video description too. Here they are again. Guys, if you get sick of putting your pants on and it's pulling on the Velcro of your knee, braces and whatnot, have the pants rolled down like this, pull them up, and then, um, yeah, it, it's really good. Reese knows how to dress himself, at least with the pants. Problem is he keeps putting his undies, his underpants on the outside. But he is a bit of an action hero. Why do you talk so slowly? Look, most Australians have very few brain cells. I am no exception. Also, many viewers don't speak English as their first language, so it helps a lot if I don't carry on with the super excited amphetamine-induced rush that American popular culture seems to be spreading internationally. If you don't like it, there are plenty of other YouTube channels. Where do you ride? Can I come too? Sorry guys, we mostly ride on private properties and the owners don't even want the general location being given out. Also, the initiation rights involve having your private parts branded. I like the disclaimers at the beginning, but why don't you allow enough time to read them? Well, just hit the space bar on your keyboard to pause the video. It ain't rocket science. Well, it is for your average Australian, but the rest of you should be okay. Why did you sell the RR300 and get a RR480 instead? This was answered back when I got the RR480. Here it is again. Good practice for using that space bar. How 
how are you going with trying to do these videos full time? Well, thanks for asking. I am getting there. About 100 viewers out of the 66,000 subscribers are supporting the vids. Thanks guys. It's not quite enough to survive on, so I'm still using my savings to make up the shortfall at the moment. If anyone is worried I'm getting rich, then making these videos works out to about US $6 an hour. So it's not exactly a massive paying job, but I love doing it, that's the main thing. I love reading the YouTube comments. This one from Tosgem was interesting. And also more practice with that space bar for you guys. So anyway guys, great to be back home again. But I'm already plotting a return to Canada next year if I can foil the authorities, who no doubt will be trying their best to keep me out now. Exciting times.